Welcome to Investigation Video Editor. This video tutorial will walk you through exactly how to adjust the timestamp from one camera so that it falls in line chronologically with another. Let's get started. I have already created a master folder for this surveillance file on my computer and labeled it Smith12345. As two cameras were used on the file, I have created their own folders within. A primary handheld one was used, as well as an internal covert camera. In the folder I labeled 1, I transferred all of the video from the primary camera. And in the folder I labeled 2, I transferred all of the video from the covert camera. I then opened IBE, created a second camera folder for the second camera, imported the video from the one folder into camera 1, and imported the covert video from the two folder into camera 2. I then searched the project and determined that the covert video from camera 2 was supposed to fall after video clip 30 from camera 1. Clip 30 is of my subject walking into a store on April 15, 2019 at 10.33 a.m. The next video clip in the project should have been the covert video of them shopping in the store. So I click on the first clip for camera 2 and I see that the timestamp for the covert video is reading June 19, 2018 at 11.13 a.m. Now the reason this timestamp is wrong is user error. I have not used the camera in a while and the battery died and when charged up again the date and time were now set incorrectly. This does not matter. The time could simply be off because you forgot to adjust for daylight savings time. Whatever the reason is, it can easily be fixed. I would like to add a note as a tip. If your covert camera gives you the option of not displaying a timestamp, choose to not have it displayed. Look at this video clip from another covert camera. The date and time are permanently on the video. If I had used this camera in the file, I would have to use IVE's timestamp placement to superimpose the timestamp over the incorrect one. So if you are only using IVE's timestamp for all of the video, and you need to adjust the timestamp for one or some of the cameras, it's super easy. Okay, so back to this project. I need the covert video to fall in line. I go back to clip 30 from camera 1, and I check the date and time. And I know that I was in the store two minutes after this video clip was taken, filming with the covert camera. So I need the timestamp for the covert video to start at April 15, 2019 at 10.35 a.m. For tutorial purposes, I'm going to highlight the three covert video clips. This is so that you will be able to see them move to the correct place in the project just after clip number 30. So to change the timestamp, I click the adjustment button at the bottom of the camera 2 column. I now check that the date and time that will be displayed is June 19, 2018 at 11.13. And I need to adjust this. I use the year to take it to 2019. I use the month to take it back to April. I adjust the day to the 15th, I adjust the hour to 10, and I adjust the minute to 35. Now when I hit adjust folder, those three video clips will fall after clip 30. And there you go. Clip 30 of my subject walking into the store 10.33 and
and April 15, 2019, 1035, the covert video begins inside the store. And after the three covert clips, back to the primary camera, and there is my subject walking out of the store. It is that simple with Investigation Video Editor. Thank you for watching, and if you would like to see a tutorial video made for any feature or procedure for Investigation Video Editor, do not hesitate to reach out to us at team at investigationve.com. Thanks again.